I admire Gary for so many reasons, but if I have to choose one thing that I admire most about him, it would be his leadership skills. Gary's leadership motivates and inspires others by letting them do the job. He's not controlling leader. He believes in all the employees and trusts them entirely in all the work that they do. He's able to kind of see the big picture and kind of point us in the right path of um, what kind of projects and what kind of um, new things we should be taking on from year to year. And um, just kind of gives us all the trust and autonomy to be creative and, and, and solve our own issues. Uh, it's a quality that not everybody has or a trait that not everybody has, but he clearly has a vision for where he wants his company to go and uh, we're on that path. A key motivator for my dad and the success that he has now is the drive from when he started in machining to where he knew he wanted to go. He told me once when I was younger that he looked at his boss in the office and said, I'm going to be a guy in that office one day. Through passion and drive, he made his dreams come true. The most impactful thing I've learned from Gary is to never, never say no. If you really want to achieve something in life, it's set the bar high and go for it. You may not know how you're going to get there, but if you don't try, you'll, ne you'll never get there. I've always felt that way, but he's kind of reinforced that to me, that being able to set the bar high, and even though you may think it's it maybe a stretch to get there, that don't give up. If you really want something bad enough in life, you can get it if you work hard enough. Dad, congratulations on winning the Business Leader of the Year for the Worcester Business Journal. I love you and hope you all have a great night.